Hi, welcome to another RoboFlow training movie. A question I get from time to time from customers is how can we be notified if our web solutions uh, is still functioning or is down uh, or is becoming slow? Uh, how can I monitor this? Big uh, companies can have uh, special software for that, but not every, everybody does. So here's an example how you simply can do that with RoboFlow. I created a hot folder workflow, which is a workflow that just looks in a folder, and I set the interval to 60 seconds. In uh, that workflow, I create uh, a folder, and in that folder, I'm putting a parameter file, a tab limited parameter file, where I'm specifying the URLs I want him to check. Maybe you have multiple web servers, maybe you have multiple websites that we want to check if they are still available. And then you can specify the return value you are expecting. And you can also set a maximum response time. If you say, okay, if it gets slower than this, then I get worried. And in that case, please notify this email address. So I created a little uh, web page that I call. I called it index.gspx. Uh, the advantage of, of calling it that way is it's very easy to add to your website because it is accepted. You don't have to change the web.xml. And it returns connection successful if it successfully connects. What I did is in this file, this is actually a copy of the early login in which I modified the connection, which in the early login expects the connection from somebody typing it in in the login screen. Uh, I replaced it by the connection that is used, uh, the admin user of your site's config, which is behind the scenes also used for pin collections. So I end up with this file and then I added this entry. So if the connection is successful to Cumulus, then I just output six, uh, connection is successful. That's what I get in my web page if I call this page. So in my application, I'm doing exactly uh, the same thing. Um, in my application, I'm expecting this value, this return value from that web page. Um, uh, so I'm saying I want this text to be returned, otherwise there's something wrong. So if I run the workflow, I say start, it will automatically process all the websites every minute. And so here I can say uh, show log and I will see that it did a call to this website and the result came after 404 milliseconds and it's valid according to my parameters. The result was what I expected it to be. So this is a very easy way. If there's now a problem with this web page, um, if there's uh, something wrong with this web page, you will uh, get in the log a login uh, logging of that problem, but also uh, there will be a notification to uh, the user. So for instance, if I uh, go into that page and I uh, make that this page is no longer valid, so then uh, what will happen is that the next time it calls it, it will just uh, get an error. So if I do refresh now, here we go. So it's calling this page and it gets an error. Of course, this is an ugly error, but you get called this invalid response and it was emailed to Peter. So now Peter gets an email. So if I'm picking up uh, the email, there it is. It says website not responding. Website not responding correctly and you get the URL so you need know in that immediately okay I need to check this uh, particular uh, website or this particular web server. Uh, also what you can use it for is stress testing. Uh, so let me quickly uh, fix the problem here that uh, my website is responding correctly again but I can use it to stress test my website. I can say, okay, I go in here to my uh, parameters and <clears throat> I can do this. I can say, okay, this is the one. And I say, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Like 
this save okay okay and now I can see in the log when it runs I can also of course uh, open the interface to run every uh, second but uh, for that parameter to be read I have to stop the workflow otherwise it doesn't know about it this is a parameter that is only read when the workflow starts go finished and now I can start it again so now it will uh, do the calls every uh, second so show log here's the what, what it's doing call call so if I refresh you will see there you go and you see it's still 340 or something uh, response time so why is it doing uh, 340 well I configured that it waits a second between every call so it's very decent uh, the interval but now I can use a second workflow I can say okay let's stress test it that two persons are simultaneously hitting on the server so I did uh, a similar thing here uh, with uh, this and then now I can say okay start this workflow and it's going to start hitting uh, on our uh, workflow uh, sorry on our website and I can do uh, show log to see if that has any influence on our performance and now you see as soon as that other workflow kicks in it goes from 300 something to six, uh, 600 and so this is how you can stress test uh, your installation um, and figure out um, what it can handle so very very easy if you want to do another you just say uh, duplicate and I can say three okay and then of course here it doesn't have uh, in the three yet that drop folder so behind the scenes I uh, would need to go to that particular drop folder uh, so here we are where is it to Canto, and then I have something like sites check alive workflows, and here I can pick up this subfolder, go here and go here, and the folder is there, but the file wouldn't be there. So I'm doing this, and now I do have the file there. So if we have a look, we will see that the file is present. So here I can see, okay, this should work as well so I can kick the file that uh, kick that uh, start that workflow oh it's disabled okay so it cannot be started stupid that's a safety precaution when you add new workflows by default it disables them so here start and now this workflow is also uh, starting uh, pounding my uh, web server and now we can see um, now we can see uh, sorry in the log what it is doing so show log there we go and then if we have a look now here we go now suddenly the interval is going to, depending on how forcefully or how many exactly at the same time are querying the server so you can see and you can test this way uh, your uh, your server at this point it is doing a wait interval for every workflow uh, here of uh, one second a thousand milliseconds between the calls so if you want you can make that also a little bit stronger uh, so I can say so this would be about the, the most stressful you can make this workflow
so all workflows are now at their fastest so I'm going to stop them so he, it oh, they get the opportunity to read while it's in a loop it doesn't uh, come out there it is so now let's check if we already had some mail of it being too slow and the answer is yes it, there were already some instances not too many but you see some of them oh yeah but that's because we were stopping it but mm, you see 40 suddenly 40 seconds so that's the kind of thing you would be looking for um, so let's now do this start this one and then start this one and we're not gonna exaggerate immediately I'm just going to have a quick look now so at this point uh, it's doing as many calls as it can at the same time so you see at this point it isn't really bothered with the fact uh, or not much at least that um, we're no longer waiting one second but just one millisecond uh, in between tasks and so you can see it does several now it does two or three calls per per second well, depending on the response time here, but it doesn't have the extra weight. So final here now, if I start this, add this third workflow. And if we now go to the show log, suddenly some responses become very slow. So that's the kind of thing that then you could go to your sites and start fine-tuning it in terms of assigned memory, in terms of the force or the speed of your computer um, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So if I refresh, you can see that you most of the time it goes okay, but still it is becoming slower uh, the more connections uh, you have and the more time it takes so that was it um, a nice way to uh, just use RoboFlow to notify you if it is down then you use one website and you just specify what it needs to check or if you want to use it as a stress test then you can uh, do something like this with uh, multiple workflows uh, one final thing how what am i doing in the workflow i'm reading the table i'm performing the rows in that text table yeah. so that table is uh, this table and then for every row in that table i wait the amount of seconds that we said by milliseconds that we want to sleep up front and then storing the start date calling the url start storing the stop time or date uh, calculating subtraction doing sub calculating uh, stop minus start and then testing if the result was valid testing if the time frame was valid and if not uh, sending an email notifying uh, the person who uh, was um, is supposed to be notified thank you for joining uh, this training movie and if you have any questions, just let me know.